Hey Leo, welcome to your bonus reading for May. Um, I want to do an extra reading for you guys. Hope you guys are doing well. So this will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Uh, please keep in mind, you know, energy is interchangeable, so that means it can go vice versa. And this reading is not going to resonate with everyone because I am reading for a lot of people. So just take whatever fits with your situation and leave the rest, okay? Now, Leo, I still have to breathe a little bit. So I was meditating on your cards and during the pre-shuffle, and I'm feeling a lot of restlessness with you guys right now. I had almost on the verge of nervousness, but it's like more of a restlessness. Like, um, something's bothering you, and you can't quite do anything about it, it feels like at this time. So... I just want to give you that little information here. Okay, we're done. Spirit says we are done. All right. Let's get down to it. So the Romance Angel cards I have for you is Unrequited Love and Past Life Relationship. So someone this, that you're dealing with definitely feels like maybe you don't feel the same way about them and maybe you're not reciprocating um, how, how they feel, right? Um, so this is in regards to a past life relationship. So you could have known this person from the past. Okay. You could have had, um, many, uh, incomings with this person, a lot of, um, in and outs. Cause I see, um, that this person came in and out of your life a lot, you know, maybe by coincidence, maybe by, you know, work related, um, doesn't have to be work related. We also have, I am trying to send telepathic message with, can you ever forgive me? So someone's really trying to connect with you energetically here, and they are wanting forgiveness for something. Okay. But I feel like this is a cycle, and we'll see where it goes with unrequited love, past life relationship, because it's like there's a lesson that needs to be learned here and why things are not balanced. Okay. We have the Queen of Pentacles as the overall energy for the reading. So a very nurturing energy. Um, again, um, cherishing something and wanting to have it as your own is what I'm feeling. And I'm really feeling it possibly from this person. There's something, it could be you guys too, but there's some, they want something um, or a person as their own, which I'm feeling, you know, is involved in your energy. Okay. All right, let's see what's going on in the current situation. Yeah, we have the Six of Cups reversed. So definitely looking upon uh, whatever's happened here in sort of a negative way. Um, but, okay, I just heard, but missing the good times and how it used to be. So something's changed here where, you know, there used to be happiness and bliss Uh Okay, so I just heard, so it used to be a specific way. There's something very important about how this was, how your situation was set up. And so I'm hearing this is also situationships, uh, not just relationships or commitments. So how it was set up was um, you knew the rules. It wasn't, nobody ever said anything, right? But you knew your role. This person knew their role, basically. Okay. And the the script got flipped somehow okay um so this person is missing the you and the old times the way it used to be because something happened and it was completely different and it feels like it cannot go back to the same way it was okay they again the four of pentacles with the three of uh, cups are holding on to those happy times those happy memories there okay and we have the king of wands so definitely, um, this person has a lot of passion for you still, and it seems like you do as well, okay? But it seems like both of you right now are looking at this as um, kind of a, a negative, all right? The memories are kind of negative right now because you're missing so much, and this person is missing so much how it used to be. Although from your end, you're not feeling satisfied, okay? You're not feeling like, um, 
yeah, it was you from your side. You're like, yeah, it was good times, but I'm not feeling like it could stay that way. I, I wanted more from this. You know, we have temperance with the six of cups reverse. So again, holding back, wanting to come back. Okay. to how it was, but holding back, you know, it's like you're waiting for this person to come up with the right formula, the right way of doing things. You're trying to get this person to get it through their head. Um, you know, even though you may have told them several times, like, Hey, are we going to do this or not? And if, are we going to do it this way? There's something about doing things a specific way in this reading. Some of the school of wands. So definitely this person. Um, yeah. So you're dealing with, it could be, um, a Taurus Virgo Capricorn, uh, also Scorpio Cancer Pisces, but you're wanting to build teamwork here. King of Wands with the Three of Pentacles. So you're wanting, you have a lot of passion. You think you can, you think you both would make a great team. Okay. You would, um, be able to make this happen and you could build mountains together. Right. Um, so both of you from this person's side, that's how you feel I'm, on this person's side. They're just like, you know, yeah, they see the potential there, but they're still wallowing in how things used to be. Okay. Let me see where they're at, what they're doing right now in regards to the situation. All right. Let's see here. Yeah, they're stressing out. Okay, we have the Nine of Swords, Seven of Wands. They're trying to protect their territory here. Also, they do, I just heard, so they, you know, but I want to fight for this and I want to protect this with everything that I have because it is special to me. So, you know, as in this Seven of Wands, you know, he's protecting that door. You know, whatever it means a lot is behind that door, but they're definitely stressed out about this situation, um, have a lot of anxiety, and I felt like, that, the restlessness here nine of swords seven of wands is uh restlessness um we also have the devil and the king of pentacles so this person is bound and determined and super focused on um physical things right now okay their career making a life together but what i'm actually feeling from this and you notice how he's holding the pentacle and then the pentacle is on the devil's neck it's so close to the devil's heart. I'm like feeling like this person wants to create something with you that is going to withstand time. They want to be able to have that with you. And it's almost like they're not going to stop until they get that, but they might have to get their finances or career in order or house, anything tangible or worldly right now. This person could be overly focused on that, therefore lacking communication on anything else. But let's see where this person is uh, in the Nine of Swords. Yeah, they want to apologize. Okay. They really do want to show you that they care. Okay. It's not much, a little something, but they do want to show you that they care. Right. And we do have, can you forgive me? So they do want to be able to apologize and come forward to you and say, I'm sorry. I am in it to win it. I do want this with you. Some of the seven of wands here. Yeah, we have the nine of wands. So again, it's like a sense of restlessness, right? Um, this person is heavily protecting themselves and protecting what they think is theirs. Okay. Which, um, clearly is showing me that it is you and this little caption in their mind that they've created together. They've created in their mind, this sense of reality, um, almost a fantasy of what you are to them. And it's like, they're protecting all those memories and what their future memories are going to hold. If that makes sense. So let's see how they feel about you. Yeah, they feel like things are changing here. We have the wheel. Wow. Yes. So the wheel strength and the world card. So definitely the universe is at play here. We got three major arcana for how they feel. So they feel like things are definitely changing. Um, strength card to the world. This cycle has definitely come to an end again. Um, things cannot go back to how they were. This 
they are wanting a new cycle here um, with their worlds. With the strength card, it's like they, they're giving an extra push. Like the universe is giving them an extra push and willpower to show them that they can accomplish this. They can do this. Um, if they just get out of their own fears here in the Knight of Swords. We have the world with the moon. They're still in fear here of they want new beginnings with you, but they're still in fear and of the unknown, like not knowing what is really going to happen here. Some of the moon card. Three of wands. Yeah. They can hope. I just heard. I was going to say they can hope and then spirit says, yeah, and they can wish and they can dream about it, but they have to do. So three of wands, the moon with the world card is <clears throat> they are fearful of the unknown. They do want this new start with you and they want to be able to be successful at it, but they got to take more action. Okay. They've made the decision that they want to, um, it's funny, I just heard they need to push off that cliff. So that's what they're doing. So the universe is like, you're going to push that, that guy right off there and go, go. Don't wait for your boat to come in. You know, you go after it. Go. Go get it. Um, just It's just meaning that more action is needed and they know that that's how they feel. Tell them this wheel card. Yeah. No more waiting around seven of pentacles reverse with the wheel. So you know things are changing, right? <clears throat> cycles are ending, new cycles are beginning, and the wait is over. Okay, this could have been a long time coming, a long relationship sit or situationship, because I did hear a situationship where um there was a lot of in and out. Um, and there's a lot of things that were done and a lot of things that were said that were hurtful and like this person is trying to process everything, everything they did to you, everything situation, you know, all these memories, this person is really up in their head, just really trying to, um, ass assess everything. Okay. They're really missing you, but at the same time, they're missing the old way because it was easier for them. Um, this new way is unknown and it's there. They have a lot of fear about it and they don't really know it if they're going to be successful and that scares them. It's like stepping out of their comfort zone. Um, it's what the universe is going to do. It's going to give them a little push and go, uh-uh, you, you got to get out of the box. You got to get out of the comfort zone. Tell about the strength card here. Yeah. Three of swords in reverse. So this person's healing here with the strength card. Okay. They are getting over this a uh, past hurt and what's happened here. Tell me what's happened here. The three of swords. Yeah, I feel like, okay, so we have the Four of Swords, Six of Pentacles. So this could have been a situation where somebody was giving to other people, okay, or, and it doesn't even have to be romantically, it could have been spending the time, their time. Like, they didn't give you enough time. They didn't, um, it was like their way or the highway. Anytime that they blessed you with the presence of a phone call or blessed you with the presence of their text message, you felt like you're like, wait, well, you know, you're still, you just sat there contemplating it in the four swords. You're just like, well, you know, I don't know what, if I want this, I want somebody to, I want to be someone's number one priority. I don't want to just, you know, be there when, you know, I'm there, they feel like I'm available to them. And this brought a lot of pain um, to you guys because you felt like, well, then I'm not important. I'm not a priority to you. And <clears throat> it doesn't even have to be cheating. Okay. It could be because I'm not, I am seeing for some, they could have been giving to other people romantically, but I'd say for about 75% of you, this person was just more so, so busy and in giving to other people with time. Okay. Their time management was not good here. Okay. Let's see what action they're going to take towards you. Let's see. We have the Knight of Cups, Ten of Cups. Wow. <laughs> Knight of Cups, Ten of Cups, and the Four of Wands. So this person is going to traipse in. I, I, I kind of want to put it like that, you know, because it's like, 
I mean, this is so too, <laughs> this is too good to be true. And I hate fluffing things up. Like I want to be realistic, but this is seriously how this person's going to come towards you. So they do want to show you their affection, their love, how much you mean to them, right? They want to come see you. They want to meet you. And I'm getting this heavily. And I know, I think it was Leo and Aquarius. You guys keep tipping on this. There's something about you need to meet somebody. There's something about somebody far away, especially with the three of wands here and the risk factor that this person is far away from you and it's un it's like this person doesn't know what's going to happen because they've possibly not met you in person and that's you know for some okay it doesn't have to be for everyone but for a lot of you i feel that a lot and until this breaks i won't see the end of it here in your readings but they're going to want to meet you in person this is physical okay physical contact um, and they want to spend time with you, you know, possibly set up a date, set up something that's romantic or just be able to, um, I just heard coddle you, just be able to coddle or cuddle or, you know, be there physically. They want to touch or something about touch here. And then we also have the 10 of cups. So they want to bring you the ultimate happiness. They want to make you feel like you are the most like you're the only girl and I just heard all of a sudden um that Rihanna song um like you're the I want you to make me feel like I'm the only girl in the world like that's what they want to bring to you they want to bring and you don't have to be a feminine you know it could be masculine watching this too but <clears throat> it's just that the song's is literally saying that this person wants to show you that because they know that you crave that and they they do feel that way to get the f knight of cups four of wands ten of cups my goodness like what i'm gonna leave it there because i don't want to mess it up anymore where's my there's let's just get you your ending messages here all right <clears throat> so i watch you on social media uh, i watch you on i'm oh, sorry i watch your social media to check on you and i did it because i was hurt okay so this person um felt hurt possibly because and it could be vice versa whatever side you're on but there's something about whatever side you're on you're either on the side of this person did not give you what you needed, didn't give you enough time, didn't give you the attention that you needed. If you're on that side, this person feels bad, okay? They feel like they need forgiveness and they need to apologize to you. Um, but for the other side, uh, they are, um, no, I mean, and also for that side, you're, they're watching you, it's definitely spying on you. And the other side, if you are the person that um, was, you know, in in the situation where, you know, you were busy or that type of thing, you know, you feel really bad. You feel, and then for those of you that were receiving this person and felt hurt, so both sides feel hurt. That's what I'm trying to say. And I don't want to confuse it. I'm sorry. But both sides feel hurt because one feels rejected and the other side feels um, like they weren't a priority. So pick what side you're on. Okay. Please first tell me one more. So let's give you one more. Uh, <laughs> I don't want this to end. Okay. They definitely um, care for you a lot. There is a lot of... Um, like strong chemistry here and this person doesn't see anybody else in their future they don't see anyone else okay all right leo my lovely little lions i love you so much um you guys take care of yourself thanks for joining me and thank you for all the love and support i know i say it but it really does mean a lot you have no idea um i do go through a lot and um it really helps you guys being there all right well, I love you guys. Have a good one. Bye.